All right, so I got uh, Jared and Brad with me again. Uh, What's this up? Time... Oh, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> this time we're showing off iPad, but I have uh, this is without the Bluetooth controller, so I'm using uh, all the uh, various like touch-based gestures to navigate through. And um, an additional caveat to this is that this is a beta build from last year, so I, I think it's kind of unfair to judge, um, you know, what OnLive could be like now. Like, I need a controller to play. Batman. So, let's find something else. But um, I, I think it, I think it's I think it's unfair to prematurely judge what it's probably like now compared to this because you know when they sent me this it was very early and everything else. So I mean you'll see that it works, but it's like not all the way there. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So I don't want anyone thinking this is representative of the final product. So let's find World of Goo because I I know that World of Goo has uh, touch based controls. That's a good I wish one. This, I wish this was QWERTY. <laughs> yeah. So and on again on the screen I'm just I'm just tapping the uh the buttons here. It's working well. So So is this similar is this going to be similar to the iPad interface? Yes, then? it works okay. just like the iPad version. The iPad version is way more responsive cuz I feel like what 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 seems like it's happening behind the scenes is that it's um you know like I'm trying to emulate a mouse pointer because right. you can see like the little dot uh, every once in a while when I move it around on the screen. So um, you know, sometimes you have difficulty dragging things because it's trying to like you see the little little black dot right there and like the crosshair and stuff. That's it like trying to do a mouse pointer it seems like. Okay. Uh. So sometimes you have difficulty when it like doesn't understand if you're like trying to move it or trying to drag it. See like right now I'm trying to drag this guy but it's like, oh, you want to move the mouse pointer? Okay. Right. Which I think is kind of just a natural problem that you're going to run into when you take, like, essentially a PC game made for a mouse and kind of put this kludgy, uh, you know, like, mouse touch base thing on top of it. As a, I mean, because, like, the iPad version works fantastic. Yeah. Probably yeah. one of the best iPad games still. Right, yeah. Without a doubt. I think I'm using way too many of these guys to do this, but... I mean, yeah. like, like, here's a perfect example. I mean, like, it's, like, now that I've kind of reached this weird part where I can only drag these dudes one way, like, it's, it's not really liking me doing... All right, here we go. Let's drop this guy here. Drag this dude up here. And... All right. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Two of them. <laughs> first level. Well, failing the first level of World of Goo. Let's, <laughs> let's try that again. <laughs> This time we won't. I, I I forgot how close the pipe was. I'm I'm not really that dumb, believe it or not. <laughs> but the internet would say differently. You lay it up. Yeah. So uh, like, it seems like, like it gets annoying. Yeah, it's a little annoying. And, and you know, I don't know if it's improved since then. Like I said, you know, this is a build from last I mean, year. Probably. I would find it to be hard to believe they haven't improved all this. But I mean, it's so good on the iPad. It's just like a good like proof of concept of like, hey, this is kind of how the mouse controls translate into touch-based stuff. Mm -hmm. So, uh, I swear <laughs> I can grab one of these guys. There we go. Come on. Yeah. Yes. Good job. You beat the first level. Good job. Yeah. Come on. There you go. Yay, first level beaten. World of Goo champion right here. <laughs> so... I'm trying to think. They they were. L.A. Noir is a game that might work. Yeah. Well, all right. So, uh, for the sake of comparison, based on the, uh, the other video, um, let's go back and uh, play Split Second because Split Second has on-screen controls. Even better. Which I, this this is kind of a mess. I mean, I I see why. Like, you know, they they seem kind of reluctant. Like, remember when they re first released the viewer app? Right. And we're like, I don't know, you know, on-screen controls are a bad idea, blah, 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 blah. And everyone was like, no, just do it. We'll deal with it. Like, this is... Yeah, I mean, you don't want to play these... Bad. Yeah, you don't, you don't want to play games like Split Second without a controller. And, and, and you know, I, I, I don't know. Like, I don't, I don't know where you get that mentality where that, that's cool, but I guess we'll see, right? Yeah. So, let's see. How do I get back to my games? Uh, all right, here we go. 
Split second. Do it up. You can kind of see on the menu, like the, the games that support touch have a little finger in the icon next to like the controller and the keyboard. Who's going in and implementing this, by the way? I don't know. It's, it's another kind of good question that I never really was able to get like a solid answer on. Because but, I mean, Black like, Rock look at these virtual exist. controls, dude. Like, Whoa! It's, all over the <laughs> it's like Grand Theft Auto. <laughs> Not only that, they're like labeled. Then the labels stay, like change camera, attack one, attack two. Oh, God. Break. And then like the, the, the RT slider is like they try to analog like the, or they try to uh, emulate the analog trigger. Eli, oh, did you accidentally man. pick Dungeon Defenders? No, no, but this is just like Dungeon Defenders, right? It's just as bad. So yeah, we got these buttons. They're, uh, that's that's the thing that's happening right now. Oh, I mean, I guess Brad, this is cool. Virtual you know, like, like if you if you own this game and you enjoy it on, on live and you wanted to show someone, like, oh hey, check out this game. I mean, this works good for this. But I mean, I just can't imagine anyone being like, all right, yeah, fifty dollars buying the full play pass for a split second. I'm gonna play this with virtual controls. <laughs> right. I mean, this could be part of the reason why Apple wants to reject it. I mean, because, like, this is not a good user experience. You know, and I feel like this this could be, like, a showpiece kind of thing for the iPad. Right. That forces, right. essentially forces you to have the Bluetooth controller accessory. Otherwise, you put up with this, which is, like, I don't even, I don't want to call it unplayable. Because, I mean, you certainly, you can, I mean, I'm playing it right now with it, but it's not good. Oof. <laughs> Oof. I don't. So it's like it's 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 it's, it's tricky. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, I don't know. We'll just we'll just do a few seconds of this because unless you want to really watch me bounce <laughs> from wall to wall. Okay, let's. Uh, and like the problem is you have to like look at the controls to do it because it's like not conducive at all. <laughs> oh right. good god, this is so, pain. Oof. There you go. On live with virtual controls. <laughs> 